once again and thank you for coming back and tuning here with me and for those who are new here thank you so much for stopping by and i hope you enjoy your visit here and don't forget to stick around and give me a comments thumbs up if you enjoy your visit here anyway i cannot be a plant person if i don't do this right every year i do this plant tour and share it to you guys i know i don't have much plans to share but i am excited to share to you guys how much my collection have grown over the years and i think i've added quite a few plants and i lost quite a few plants so it's kind of like chain i bring in i bring out <laughs> so in today's video i would like you to enjoy my plant tour of what's growing here in my small space because i know i did last time i did a plant bedroom what's growing in my bedroom last time so this time i'm going to share you what's growing here in my living room slash dining area you know i have a small space so everything comes in all at once so i hope you guys enjoy so let's start hey friends this is the overview looking of my plants collection as you can see everything is in front because i don't have very much space so i pretty much put it all together in front and that's my dining area right over there and i can walk closer and we could start by random things here in front of you guys i i'm gonna try to take it fast because i don't wanna get this video too long so let's start here's my moonshine sun siberia my whale fin sun siberia and this is another um sun siberia uh starfish sun siberia and this is some kind of Peperomia. I forget what's exactly the name of this Peperomia. This is more like a succulent type, but it's growing in this corner, leggy, so I kind of just leave this alone. And down here is my random things. This is my plants that are in Leca. Um, this is my Philodendron Brazil in Leca. My Poros Syndapsus Pictus Exotica and Neon Philodendron uh, Lime, I believe. I keep forgetting. And some random plants underneath here. Poros and Join, Philodendron Brazil, Philodendron Heartleaf, this regular green one, and Sun Siberias, Samurai one, Sun Siberias. This is Sun Siberia Fernwood. This is Sun Siberia Francii. And the other one is the Samurai. And this one, I forget the name of this one. And this is my Philodendron Neon. And underneath is Dracaena Janet Craig, I believe. Right here is. Uh, Devon Bakia. Uh, I think this is a pink panther. I forgot. And this is the regular rubber tree. And it's suffering. I don't know the, what's going on with the leaves. So, yeah. I've been spraying it with the new one. It looks like it's getting better now. So, hopefully, it continues to get better. And this one is my. Philodendron Prince of Orange in this corner. And right here, the tall one, this is my Philodendron Emerald. Red Emerald. As you can see, it's tall. Really tall. All the way up like that. And behind is Philodendron Triparty. Tripartitum 
right here I like this one too because it's so pretty so it's getting taller also and right here is the philodendron birkin that is in LECA it's growing pretty good this is a um, triobi moonlight I like the variegation it's so silvery look at this it's so pretty so, and this one I haven't uh, repotted this one this one is the um, Hoya the um, shooting star Hoya I haven't repotted this because I haven't get a chance to get a new pot that will perfectly nice for this one so it's still waiting so yeah and on this shelvings those plants on top are plants that's growing in Leca except the one in the middle the Trandiscantia purple one this one I need to water this one I haven't get a chance to water but the photos enjoy this is in Leca neon photos in Leca and that's um Syndaptus pictus agriolus I don't know if I say them it's in Leca and this is my Cebu blue that's in Leca and right at the bottom is the Cebu Blue. It's not in Leca. I haven't transferred in Leca. This is Philodendron Brazil. And this is Monstera Peru. And this is my Syndapsus Pictus Exotica. Look at that. It's growing, trailing up to here. I'm going to uh, propagate this one day and that's my Hawartia this one I tell you guys I always have problem growing Kali Kali not Kalitia prayer plants so I don't know what's going on with this one so yeah it's turning yellow and that's Hawartia over there in that corner so going down here is this Jose Buno this one when I got this this is damaged from the shipping but it's growing it's growing really well look at this this is a new leaf that came out recently look at that how pretty it is the variegation is like half green and half white and so that's what it is it's big it's growing healthy I haven't put this in Leca. I'm going to try to put this in Leca sometimes, but not right now. This is my Philodendron Macaulay's Finale that's in Leca. Yeah, I should do video separate for some of my plants that are in Leca sometimes. This is the Cras Cassinervium Philodendrons that's in Leca, and you can see there's a new growth right there that's coming out next is the philodendron silver hastatum that is in leca this is a new growth look at how silver is this one so pretty this is a new growth yeah it's enjoying the leca and the next one is the philodendron jungle boogie that's in leca also and since I put this in Leca, look at that. This this is the new leaf that came out and now it's sprouting a new leaf. See, I need to flush it because there's like build up minerals on top of the Leca again. So I need to do it. And here's another um, Monstera um, Rapidifora Tetrasperma. It's not Monstera. That is in Leca. This one is the propagated one from the mother plant. So, and at the back, I have my Cebu Blue. I need to pull this yellow leaf. Oh, I got it already. Let's put it in the side. The yellow leaf. And so, yeah. 
this is my Cebu Blue and next to this Rapidipora Tetrasperma is the Burl Max Philodendron look at this guys I just sprayed this yesterday with um, neem oil because I'm seeing some kind of flies going on but it's I don't see it today so I guess it get treated by neem oil so yeah this is my philodendron burl marks and behind is the bethenephelum phelum phelum philodendron or they call it a philodendron horse head I cut this part to propagate it and I gave the propagate to one of our friends here in YouTube so I think she said it's growing really well and this one is the new growth since after I cut it so it's giving me new growth and this one is my Monstera Deliciosa that I think it's dealing with kind of with some kind of problems so I after this video uh, after I film this today I'm going to go get a new pot because I'm going to transfer this in Lekka because it looks like I need to clean out the soil because it looks like there's something going on with the soil so maybe there's some kind of bugs growing in there and I need to take it out and right here my hanging plants this is my Hoya carnosa green that it's in the hanging right now and next on the top is the Hoya crimson princess right there that one is my propagated plant from a mother one and next to that is this philodendron uh, crimson queen that I this used to be in a hanging planters, but I move it here. I decided to just put it here on top of my curio cabinet. So it's more looking nice. This is actually big, as in bushy. So I put it right here. That's my Hoya Crimson Queen. And on here, this was sold to me as philodendron squamiferum, but I don't see um, fuzzy stems. It does have a fuzzy stems, but it's quite different than to the normal fuzzy stems that I'm looking for. So it's a philodendron squamiferum, but I don't know, more look like florida beauty or something but it's not so i'll just go by philodendron scumaparum and then here is philodendron pedatum this one this grow quite a bit since i got this so yeah and the next one is the philodendron Oh, I forget the name of this one, if I remember. Oh, right here. This is Painted Lady. So this is what it is. It's kind of bent right now because I. it took me so long to get something to hold on. So, yeah, pretty soon I should cut it and propagate this. And next one is my Aglionoma plants i forget the name right now i will list the name next time i just researched this one and find out the name but i kind of forget it whoops my sleeper is making noise and this one is the aglinoma chocolate it's very pretty look at the vinings really pretty i actually propagated two out of this one already and one is in my bedroom and the other one I brought it to some kind of plant swap last time here's my CC plants right here 
I don't really have to do much with this plants right now. Nothing, very easy plants. And next to that CC plants is another um, philodendron horsehead or Bethanyphelum. This is a gift when I order some plants to Christian's Tropical and Exotic Plants last time. She always gave me an extra plant. And let's go behind or let's go here. This one is my Regal Shield Alocasia. Look at this. Actually, this is almost not going to make it. I had to chop this off because some kind of bugs attack this one. It looks like there's another bugs attacking it. I don't know. And it's in Leka. So, yeah. At the back is the CC Raven. Right there. I don't really have to tell much with this one because I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to care for this one. It's so easy. And here's my dying begonia i think this is an angel begonia i don't know what's wrong with this one here's philodendron um brandy brandy adam that it's in leka right now i it was in soil before but it's not giving me new growth but since after i repotted in leka it's been giving me new growth it's more happy than when it was in soil, I think. And this is my philodendron moonlight right here. At the back is um, Peperomia ripred capirata, I think, if I'm not mistaken, or Peperomia ripo. And here, this is umbrella, umbrella plant. And next to this one, it's getting crowded here, is Philodendron Black Cardinal. I think if I'm not mistaken, so just correct me if I say the name of the plants wrong because sometimes I know what's their name, but when I'm doing a plant tour, I keep forgetting their names. And on to my Hoya here. Hoyas, not Hoya. Like here, let's start at the bottom. This is my Berticulata Albo Marginata. This is the Hoya. I just got this recently. And this is Hoya Shepherdii at the back. Some are in Leka, some are not, because the ones that are in Leka, I got those um, fairly new and I was able to transfer it in like a quick because it's not in soil but some that I got it that is not in like a, it's hard to transfer it in soil because their roots is very small and afraid to kill it so this is my Hoya Quartzii it's in Leka. this is another gift from Christine's Tropical and Exotic Plants. This is Hoya Carnosa. Every time I purchase the plants from her, they always give me extra gift. And I really love this one. This is very pretty. This is Hoya Surigawensis Owensis that I got it recently too. At the back is Hoya Compacta. It's in Leka. This is in Leka also. And right here, is the um, Hoya Retusa that I got not too long ago and you can see it has some new growth like a little growth right there and the back of that Hoya Retusa is another gift it's a cardinal uh, Hoya Carnosa Green and this one is my Hoya Compacta Al Albo Marginata that's the one, it's in Hoy, um, Leka. And this is Hoya La Conosa in Leka. It's really, really pretty. And right here 
This is my Hoya. Oh, I forget this one's name. The Hoya Rotunda Flora, this one. And look at this. I didn't transfer this in Leka because when I got it, I see a new growth coming. So if I touch it, I don't wanna interrupt the new growth. So look at that, guys. Look at how pretty is the growth coming. I'm so excited, so. And next here with me, this is the Hoya Liniares that uh, is going really pretty. It's growing really nice. This is, I would say, the plant that is very, very easy to maintain. Just water it when the soil is dry and you don't have to do anything much. And, and I have more Hoyas on top, so here's the Hoya Publicalix Royal Hawaiian, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. It's almost like Silver's Plus, but this has more narrowed, longer leaves than the Silver's Plus. I'll show you. This is another Hoya Princess that I got from Gabriella a long time ago and it's suffering from some kind of bugs or something. And this is my Hoya Publicalix Plus right here. It's hard to show you guys, but yeah. And this is my Hoya Crinkle 8. You can see it has like eight dimples. That's why it's called Crinkle 8. And at the back, let's move this is it's hard um hoya chelsea at the back and right here in this this i just got this recently too hoya australis just the plain regular green one and this one is the hoya patsyai changman changmai and right here is the Hoya Kerii Barigada. It's in Leka. This is a new growth. Right there is a new growth. So, yes. Let's move on to the next plant here in this corner. Right here in front of you, this is given to me by a friend, Emily. This was really small when i got it and oh my god now it had grown triple the size when i received this this is philodendron gloriosum it's very pretty i just love this i this is one of my favorite plants here in my collection and this is my getting taller pilea peperomitis or friendship plants right here and it has a lot of babies right there i haven't done anything i haven't planned on doing anything i kind of like it the babies growing right there so i think i'm gonna leave some in there and right here what you're looking here is the begonia maculata it's growing really tall sorry for the lightning it's now backlit and then let me turn up my humidifier so this is the begonia maculata let's do on the one that's hanging this one is the the she did a millions of heart that i got probably last month and it getting so bushy and fuller and i really love it i would like to get the variegated one next time this and then next to that is the Hoya Quartzii. This is part of the one that is in Leka. I just separated because it's good. It's a lot to put in one Leka. So I just put one in Leka and I just put one in the soil. Next is the Hoya Compacta or Hindu Rope. Right here, this is 
quite a problem for me is suffering from mealybugs so i have to check this at least once a week because because it's kind of like crinkle so the mealybug mealybugs hide pretty well on the leaves of this one i've noticed that this is almost look like hoya crinkle it because see the way how it looks but it's this hoya compacta and here what's you're looking at right in front of you it's a trailing getting longer string of hearts variegated this is in leka this is the one that i'm having trouble before because it's not growing it's just staying short but then i transfer in leka and so it's now it's growing the next one here is another plant that is in leka as you can see this is my string of heartless or they called uh heart of uh, spade string of spades so yeah it's in leka also and look at that i have to cut this pretty soon and propagate it and this one is my alocasia variegated this is part of the plants that i got from jana this actually was bigger but for some reason i think it suffered from root rot so when i finally noticed it i decided to chop it up right away and propagate it so now it's coming back and next to that one is the baby monstera albo that i got it from emily and this one named charlie it's very it's growing pretty well since the last time i got it and this one is my competi syngonium that is in leka some of my plants is in leka if you guys notice that some are not those plants that are not in leka i'm still studying how they going to survive in leka that's why i haven't transferred them but yeah so far this one is growing really pretty in leka i have to soon put a stake in here or something to crawl because it looks like look at the roots it's looking for something to hang on and let's move on here in the back this is my hoya obobata i would say splash because there's like a lot of silver splash in here uh, another easy plant you guys don't have to worry so much about these plants these plants will tell you when it's needed water the leaves will get so bendable and soft so right now it's kind of crunchy so i'm not gonna try to squeeze it so yeah this is hoya obobata splash and looking here this is my one of my favorite too it's my philodendron pink princess when i first got this this is what it looks like it's only about this much then this came along they sprout a new leaf and then since then it's giving me quite a beautiful variegation this is actually a new leaf but it didn't have that much pink variegation it's more darker but look at this one isn't this one beautiful i would think so really pretty so pretty and right here inside what you're looking is my heart fern that is growing inside this uh, glass dome whatever so but you can see it's growing so big now that it's coming out so pretty soon i have to get this thing out of that glass thing and this is another 
a string of hearts this is my it's more like regular one that is in Lekka as you can see here it is what it looks like it's getting longer and longer too I need to transfer this oh no not transfer I need to cut this and uh, propagate it then the next one here is my Monstera is this a Peru or I forgot Car starts with K it's a Monstera so and this one is my Ephesia de Antiplora oh, they call it paper lace that bloom like a lace flower so it's trailing it's trailing down it's another trailing plants that i enjoy it's very pretty i definitely need to cut this and propagate it so let's look at that it's growing and this is my i don't know if this is the christmas cactus i believe this is christmas cactus at the back right there and sorry if i'm making you guys dizzy this is my cactus epiphytic cacti this is i forget what this cacti is name let's see this is ripsalis this is my ripsalis and this is my donkey tail i need to water it because it's kind of looking wrinkled now it's time to be watered and right that one is the string of dolphins it's it took me a while to remember so yeah it has flowers but now the flowers stop it's dry now but yeah I, I just watered this yesterday so and this is my crown of turns that is blooming right now you can see the blooms right there and this is some of my orchids that is in Lekka. You guys can see the roots is good, getting crazy. It's in Lekka. These two are in Lekka. And they love being in Lekka, as you can see. This is the Trandiscantia Nanok. It's different to the regular Trandiscantia. And the more you put it under bright light, the more the colors go vibrant very bright so underneath is piperomia piccolo and my variegated african violet and another african violet right there and this is philodendron brantianum See, I told you this is in the soil, but it's not giving me new growth. It just stayed like this. So that one that I showed you in the beginning was propagated, was part of this. And this is the ter terrarium that I created, the succulent terrarium, just because it doesn't get enough sunlight. Look at that. <laughs> it's growing leggy, which is, I like it. It's kind of cute and right here is my cebu blue i don't know why it's this going yellow i've been checking on this it's you know it's hard to tell what's the problem but it's the leaves is turning yellow so underneath here is just essentials my um forget this one pilea peperomitis right here and one of the aloe vera is right there. So underneath is the essentials. This is why I put my essential stuff here. So here's the other corner of my shelves. You can see this one is the Hoya Carii, just the regular Hoya Carii right there. And this is Philodendron micans that is in Lekka. 
I had to treat this because I'm noticing some kind of problems. Look at that, the leaves are turning. I just sprayed it with copper spray, so hopefully it helps. This is my um, salted pecana. Oh yeah, I remember I called the other one Peru, but this is Monstera salted pecana. And then this one is Peperomia. I forgot what kind of Peperomia is this one. And right here is Philodendron Mycans, part of that one. This is in Leca also. Right here is Manjula that is in Leca. This one had an issue too but now it's bouncing back it's finally growing next to that one is philodendron thai sunrise that is in like a look at how the variegation is it's very pretty look at that it's almost like brazil's type looking look at that lime color in the middle and this is the Euphorbia trigona that I got this one. I traveled to Virginia probably two years ago. So it's growing. And this is the pickle cacti, pickle cactus, I believe is what you call right here. And next one to that is this one is in Leca. This is Monstera adansoni, the white form one. And look, I need to flush the Leca. It's time for me to do the Leca cares again. So yeah, this is what it looks like on the other shelves of the corner of my wall. there and in this corner you guys can see my snake plant sayuri this is the fuller bigger one i have a small one in my bedroom that i separated from this one and here this is my fish tank and I donated the fish because I'm getting tired taking care of the fish so I donated the fish so I decided to put my cacti collection in here which is don't ask me all the names of the cacti here because I don't know the names except quite a few except this one this one is they called it the finest cacti, so I pretty much know this one. I won't forget the name of this one. And this one is Parodia Wernery, because it has a name. And the booby cacti right there that everybody loves to get a hold. You can see it. This is a domino cacti right here. And this one, I don't know the name of this one. Oh, there's a name too. I don't know what's going on. This one, it has some yellow wing going on. This is Marmillara species. So I don't know what's going on with the yellow. I need to bring this out and get some, shine, some sunshine. Right here is my castle cacti right there and some more. I just don't know their name, so I'm not going to mention their name to you guys. If you have time, you can... This is Euphorbia trigona, this one. And this, I think this is a blue torch cacti, if I'm not mistaken. And this is the variegated Opontia, I think. Yeah, this is the variegated Opontia. And yeah, there's some more. That's all I have here in this aquarium and underneath is my peace lily. That's what I have. 
this guy they love to be wet all the time i need to dust it again it's been a while since i dust it and next to it is the domino spotty pylum peace lily this one loves water too so i want you guys if you're going away for a week make sure you have somebody that look after your domino spider pylum or you have like some kind of watering system going on because these plants they love to drink and if you come home wilted just put water right away and this hanging one are my monstera adonsonai right there i'm trying to make it crawl up to the ceiling so i can put some something to for this one to crawl so that's what it is so this is what it looks my plants in that corner yeah that's what so this is what it looks guys and in this table I have a mix up mm, I have spider plants neon photos philodendron Brazil this is golden photos and photos and joy so I put them all in one pot because it looks pretty and right here I'm propagating photos and joy and this is the philodendron silver that I got from my cut my philodendron silver at my bedroom and this is the air plant this one is the pagoda lipstick plants and golden photos right here so that's all folks i hope you enjoy my plan tour i try to make it short and quick i don't want to tell so much stories because i don't want to make the videos too long because i know none of you will sit there and watch an hour videos so i decided to just do a quick one because i'm pretty sure you guys know the story about the plants the name of the plant so just to make it quick just do it fast and show you what i've got so that's all what's growing here in my small space and i'm looking forward to add some more plants that i really enjoy and like so i hope you enjoy this video and please give me a thumbs up and if you like to stick here around don't forget to subscribe and yeah thank you so much for watching and sparing your busy times i hope to see you again next time thank you bye